It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Beer Farms Native Series in collaboration with Fervor. And it's a dessert lime and lemon myrtle IPA described as creamy with a native Australian ingredients in it. And it is 6.5% ABV in a 500 milliliter can. Look at that, and that looks terrific. Big fan of beer fam. I've had one of their beers before. Really good. Let's get this one open into a glass. See what we get. Massive, massive thank you to Mick again for sending me the beer. Thank you very much, Mick, from Australia. The Australian beer god, really. <laughs> He sent us some fantastic beers from, from, from Australia. Uh, massive appreciation to Mick for sending the beer again over from Australia. Just some, been drinking some absolutely tremendous beers for the last year or so. Year, maybe 18 months. Okay, beer in a glass. We've got a one to two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Hazy orange amber colour to it. It looks absolutely terrific. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, you get lots of lemon, lots of lime. You really do get lots of lemon and lots of lime. Wow. Lemon Myrtle IPA with dessert lime. And it's not just lemon, it's not just lime. There's most definitely some hops in it as well. More than likely from Australia. Touch brutey, if you ask me. A little bit of sweetness coming through. It smells terrific. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Boom. <laughs> um, oh. Uh, where do I start with this? Boom! Stone the crows! That's where we're going to start. Stone the crows! Oh my goodness me, that only blew my head off. I was taking a sip of that beer, my eyes kind of opened. I was like, do I take it away from my mouth or do I have another big mouthful? And it was like, whoa, blimey. So glad I did. God, it's, I, I'm looking for the ABV again. 6.5% ABV. Now, flavours. Loads of lime, loads of lemon. But what's more important about all of this is the fact that it sticks to being a beer first and foremost. Yes, there's quite extreme flavours from the lemon, from the lime, but it holds itself together with being a beer. There's a little bit of sweetness to begin with. There's a little bit of biscuity malt, a little bit of breadiness coming through. Pfft, blimey. There's a little bit of bitterness coming through from the hops on the back end. But that kind of lemon and, oh, pardon me, lemon and lime flavour in the middle. Absolutely tremendous flavours. Mm. There we go. A little bit more haze now from the can into the glass. There's a level of... There's a level of sourness. There's a level of sourness that comes through into the beer. Some people might call it sharp. You know a real vitamin C sharp flavour? Lemon, lime would do that most definitely. It's quite, it's quite sharp. It's quite, oh wow, yeah, but there's a level of sourness as well that comes through. And then, here's the hops. Here's the hops as I'm speaking now, right on the back end. There's some grapefruit, a little bit of citrus, orange peel. A bit of bitterness balances off that sweetness from the biscuit malt. This is absolutely incredible. Incredible beer. Wow. My palate's just adjusting to it now. It's just getting to the stage where it's adjusting. It's not so crazy, it's not so wacky, you know, everything's settling down a little bit and it's all kind of little, kind of coming into balance a little bit more. 
it's just really refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases all that flavour. The flavour's tremendous. There's a little bit of jamminess in it, there's a little bit of tartness. It's just bonkers. Bonkers good beer. And look at it, look at the way it looks as I rock the beer back and forth. Great stuff. Great stuff. The lemon, the lime, it's not overpowering. It's all staying in check. It's all... I think if they put much more in, it would be out of check. It would be kind of crazy. It would be, it would be too much lemon, too much lime. But they've just... They've managed to get the balance right, beer fam. They've managed to get it right. They've managed to just keep it all under control, keep a lid on it, and, and, and just, first and foremost, as I mentioned earlier, it has to be a beer. It has to be a beer. And it is a beer, first and foremost. Carbonation like a beer. A little bit of sweetness with a biscuit malt like a beer. A little bit of bitterness on the back end like a beer. A malty taste like a beer. But then quite a bit of lemon and lime in there in the middle as well really good stuff really good stuff and, and their motto is established for the future okay brewed and canned a beer farm metri cup wa australia wa west australia maybe uh beer farm and fever acknowledge the traditional cust custodians of the land where these ingredients came from that's cool that's cool i love the artwork as well on the can absolutely tremendous beer should we rate it fever and beer fan that is an incredible honestly that is an incredible beer really good quality stuff again from australia i like that enough to give it a stone the crows, 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.